All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to use the intermediate value theorem to show that a function has a fixed point. More precisely, suppose you have a function f from 0, 1 to 0, 1. So this just means f is between 0 and 1, and we have this is continuous, then f has a fixed point. Has a fixed point. What does that mean? It means there is a specific point, think one half, such that if you apply f to it, then nothing happens. So there is. Is x naught somewhere in the interval 0, 1 such that f of x naught equals x naught? In other words, this point is fixed by f. So nothing happens here, and there's actually a nice geometric interpretation of this because all that this means is that if you have a function like that from 0, 1 to 0, 1, for instance, like this, suppose f looks like this, then f must cross the line y equals x. Kind of like that. Okay. In other words, uh, there must be some point, x naught, such that the output of x naught is the same thing. And I'll give you some kind of neat applications in a second, but first let us prove this. So as I said, it is a nice application of the intermediate value theorem. So let's subtract this. So proof, okay, uh, let g of x be f of x minus x. All right, since f is continuous, well, g must be continuous as well. And moreover, let's calculate g of 0 and g of 1. Then, g of 0 is, well, f of 0 minus 0, and that's f of 0. But remember, f is between 0 and 1, so definitely this is greater or equal to 0. On the other hand, g of 1 is f of 1 minus 1, but remember, f is again, between 0 and 1, so in particular, f of 1 is less than or equal to 1, so g of 1 is less than or equal to 0. So what is happening? We have this function g that um, goes from a positive value, if you'd like, to a negative value. So this is 1 and this is at 0, and in particular, notice by the intermediate value theorem with, let's say, c equals 0, we get that g must cross the x-axis at some point. Okay. So in other words, by the IVT with c equals 0, so the intermediate value here is 0, there is x naught somewhere in the interval 0, comma 1 with g of x naught equals 0. But then that just implies f of x naught minus x naught equals 0 by definition of g, and therefore f of x naught equals x naught. And that's it. All right, let me just give you a couple of quick applications of fixed points. First of all, if you have a snow globe, like here, and you shake it, then the fixed point theorem says that it, there must be one snow globe that ends up at the same place it started with, because f of x naught equals x naught. And another application is, suppose you have a snowstorm or something, and uh, people around the world just get shuffled around, then there must be one person who ends up at the same place they started with. 
again, similar idea. And last but not least, if you have a map of the world, then there must be at least one spot that if you point your finger at it, it points to the spot where your finger is at. Kind of like a, you are there a moment, if you'd like. All right, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.